Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a re review, well a couple, I'm going to do a review of two things in one and they're both Mally Beauty products which you know how I do feel about Mally Beauty. I have been a huge fan of Mally Beauty for several years now, probably maybe, maybe going on three years now. Um, it sh her line is my favorite line. It is more in a higher end what um higher end price but however i just feel it's so worth it and i just i love her products i love what it does to the looks i do and how it applies and everything so well mumbo jumbo because the majority of you know how i feel about mally beauty but there is i do have some new subscribers which welcome and thank you very much um so they might not know but Mally Beauty, my favorite line of all. So the products I'm going to do a review on is uh, Mally's Ultimate Performance Professional Foundation, Lines and Fair. Comes in a really pretty pink compact, which if you've seen her, um, oh my goodness, what is that thing called now? Uh, Face Defender. Face Defender. If you've seen her Face Defender and people showing it, it comes in a nice pink compact also. And it's very, very durable. And this is, you've probably seen this, me using um, using it for, um, I did a collab for Thanksgiving with a, a Diva Makeup Queen. Beauty me, Diva Makeup Queen. Oh, geez, I always screw up her thing. But anyway, it's a cream foundation. And it comes with a sponge like this, a beauty sponge, which this is really nice. It's really thick sponge. It's nothing like I've ever had or used before. I think she says that she's, I don't know if she gets them or they're made in Japan or whatever, but, um, or it's a Japanese, or maybe it's made here and she uses the same. I'm not sure on all that, but I just, I know it has something to do with ja the Japanese, um, of where she has gotten the idea from maybe or something um, this is what I use to apply this product um, and like I said you probably have seen me in my videos a couple of them but I wanted to demonstrate or just do a little more in-depth review and then the other thing is is her effortless airbrush eyeshadow and this is a duo she has them in singles this is a duo and then she also has had a, uh, a trio on um, QVC. The duos, as far as I know, the only place you can get these is at Ulta. So if you have an Ulta near you or just you can order online, um, there's two of them uh, right now, which this is Lush, this is Lush Forest. It's a green color. And then this is Champagne. And these are by far my favorite um, kind of eyeshadows that she does have, in, you know, that comes in a pan. Like, I like her other ones and stuff, and well, I mean, I should say I love her other ones, but I just love these because I love how they apply, and they're just so um, buttery, silky, and just, they're wonderful. Um, the other one is more of a purple color and a brown color, the duo. Um, but you can get them singly, so let's say you wanted the champagne color just to have to highlight or do whatever and stuff. You can just get the champagne color, you can just get the purple, whatever, so on. Um, I believe these are around thirty some dollars, which that's not too bad because if you get a single, I believe the single is like twenty something, maybe. I'm not quite one hundred percent, but you can look on Alta and see. Um, I know the singles is on her site too. So, and she does make blushes, which I love her blushes. I love the effortless airbrush um, line. Her foundation is my most. It's my favorite foundation of all of hers. Uh, this would probably be my second favorite foundation, this one I'm going to be using right now. Um, and you get a nice brush, which you get a little blendy brush on the one end, and like a definer and whatever kind of brush on the other end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply, I have concealer on, I used her, um, my favorite concealer of all, and it is hers, <laughs> is the Age Rebel Nourishing Concealer. I used it. It comes in a little pot like this. And she sells them, I know, on her site and QVC. Um, I'm not sure about Ulta. Maybe now they do have them in Ulta. So I'm going to put the foundation on first. And then 
after I do the eyeshadow, I'll come back with the, the whole finished off look, but I just want to show you how they blend on me and talk about them a little bit more. So, but let's do the foundation obviously first. So it's a cream foundation, like I said, and it is a full coverage foundation. Um, it goes on really nice. I mean, I just take it and just tap very slightly and it covers the redness and everything. It, it's a great foundation um, coverage. And this foundation, now I don't know if it still is because for a while they're on Ulta. It was actually, because this is usually $40 and it was actually on Ulta for like $20 some dollars, like $24, $25. That's really good, you know. I mean, really good. That's like half off. So, um, this foundation here is definitely for that person that doesn't like a liquid, um, you know, they want a full coverage, but they don't like the liquid kind of foundations. But obviously, the powder doesn't give them the full coverage they want. Um, this would be the one for you um, a cream foundation. Um, I don't know about drugstore what they have in cream foundation, so I can't compare it to anything. Um, I know L'Oreal used to have a cream one, but I don't know if they still do. <coughs> it was like the Visible Lift one, and I have that, but I just thought, I mean, it's, it's good, but I still like this better because I just feel it um, doesn't attach to the dry patches and, and that. It's, it's just really good. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and be putting it on here. So I usually take my sponge and like I said, I just, I dab in there. That's what I usually do. Just dab. And has a nice mirror, by the way. And we're going to just go ahead and just start doing the coverage, which you can see I have redness. I'm going to do a little bit more dabby there. So I am dabbing a little bit more because my face and the weather right now is just just not doing too well. This weather's really been sort of playing some havoc on my skin. So, but I think we all go th through that in the winter time. Can you see like already with this side here? You know, I mean, obviously, yeah, you can see you know some of my scarring and stuff, but. I'm talking about like the redness maintain and everything because if you look on this side here you'll see the redness and everything so you can see the coverage it really does really great so if you want to put a little bit more you can do so and this is just going to be half of my face right now oops I forgot my chin how did I do that one? So this I feel is a great foundation too if you're like in a hurry, you know, you're getting ready and stuff and um, I don't know. I just feel it's, it's so quick and simple and it doesn't, it looks natural. That's the other thing I think. That's what I was trying to think of. It looks so natural. It doesn't look like a bunch of cakey, you know, makeup on. So, as you can see, there's this side here that's not done yet. And then this side here that is. Um, I can bring you in closer if you'd like. So we'll go back to this side. This side here that's not done. And this side here that is. And it looks very... Oh my gosh, really? Like, I had to get the phone or double check in when I forgot I had the phone up here because I was talking to my daughter earlier and it startled me whenever I was doing. But um, I was showing you my face up close where you can see the flawlessness. You know, here you can see the pigmentation, the redness, and everything. So, let's go ahead and finish that. Wait, yes. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what, what side of my face I got lost? No, after that phone ringing. I should have known better than to have the phone in here while I was filming because I usually don't. But I do right now because my son and my husband 
went to go watch a pay-per-view for wrestling and uh, mom and Joe, my mom and my brother, they're both downstairs, but I thought if she couldn't get to the phone or answer if she fell asleep or something, um, you know, I could go ahead and get it, so, but, uh, so yeah. Got to do along here. This this fair matches me very well, which I know on Alta whenever the price I seen it for that cheaper price, they uh, were limited in shades, but you can get this in um oh, what's some of the shades that you can get? Fair, light, medium tan, dark, something like that. Okay, so there we go. We have that all on. Very pretty. I, see, I just love it. I just think it's a great full coverage foundation. Just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, and it feels soft. Like, you know how sometimes you put foundation on and you can you sometimes feel like you no. This is just soft. It's great. I'm gonna put some powder on, which I'm gonna use her um, Mali Per Perfect Skin Illuminating Refi Refiner. Blah, blah, if I can say it, I've done an, um, also a review on this stuff. One of my favorite um, setting powders. I love this stuff. Just gives a nice. Um, luminosity and everything to the skin finishes everything so nice so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on just real quick just so I don't forget okay that stuff is awesome the bomb okay so I'm gonna go ahead and use her shadow base Get ready to do her eyeshadows. Um, I think I might know what look I'm going to do for this. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't know if I wanted to go for a more deeper look or, you know, kind of a light look. But I think I might know which route I'm going to go with this. So... Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the eyeshadows. So the first color I'm going to work into, I believe I will do the champagne. Yes, I will. I'm going to take this side here, the one that blends or whatever. And these, it's so crazy because like, I'll show you. See that beautiful coloring? that it gives off. Oh, just crazy. So I'm going to put some on my lid and even in the inner, inner tier. using my other setting for my camera thing here and kind of forgetting what I'm doing and that light does that to me so and then I'm going to take the green color which look at that and gorgeous 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 I'm going to take that and I'm going to use this side, the one that's more defined, kind of a, and I'm going to take it and work it up in the corner here just a little bit, and then up through the crease a little bit. I don't want it too heavy, but I want the color to be there and be a little noticeable.
But I love these eyeshadows. I have, um, there's only one, one of her triple trio, I guess I should say, I didn't get and I wish I would have gotten, and I never did get, and I, I just wish I would have, but I just couldn't at the time. And um, I'll have to show you some of the other ones because they, like I said, they're just gorgeous. Work this all the way up into my brow there a little bit. That's the champagne, of course, I'm using for that. And then we'll go back into the green. We're going to be going to the mall on Sunday, not Sunday, Wednesday. Sunday is a get-together we're having here with family. We're going to have like a Christmas thing going on, so that ought to be fun. I'll be digging that. i got to make some cookies yet, though. Okay, so there is it's a beautiful green with the champagne which it does go nice because this top is kind of greenish and gold and I guess I didn't realize I was matchy matchy but yeah I'm doing the matchy matchy here so I think I'll just work this all the way because so I've seen I see Mally do that before like just go all over on the lid up to the brow I think her champagne stick, maybe I should use this a little bit more. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe it will get along better. And then use the blendy for the green part. Okay. Let's try that. We'll, we'll reverse it. I'm going to use this for the green coloring. Kind of blend it in. Let's see how that works. Though I'm not sure. I didn't want to get like green all over on my lids. So that's what I was hoping I wasn't going to do whenever I used the other one. The other brush. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I think I like the defining part though better, to be honest. It seemed to do a nice job. And then I can blend if I want to blend. I like this side of her brush really well. Very nice. And I came across Mally on QVC first, which probably majority of people, that's where they maybe came across her. If not, then it, if not, then it would be, um, maybe Alta. I know some of her stuff's being sold on beauty, um, beauty.com. As I always say, I wish we had an Alta nearby. I'd have to go about an hour or so drive to get to an Alta. But, okay, so there's the beautiful eye color that you can get with it. And like I said, it's a beautiful champagne and green. And I just love these eyeshadows. They're just they go on so nice and soft and they're very pigmented um, let's see if I can bring in a little bit closer and it does a nice soft look like even though I use the green it's not like um, intense even though the color looks like you can you know it looks really good so alright beauties I will be back with the whole finished look then here okay 
and then just finish up uh, the end here. And if I can find myself to shut me off. <laughs> Alright beauties, so this is my finished look that I did. I got my mascara on, um, did the rest of my makeup, and have this beautiful eye look with the effortless airbrush eyeshadows in Lush Forest and Champagne from from Mally and um, the foundation as you can see covered real nice and then I used um, a lot of her stuff the hmm I would say the eyebrows the mascara and the lipstick are the only things I didn't use of Mally's I used a, a few different things and that but other than that um, everything else is of Mally which I like the way my eye color turned out um, so yeah I really I really like her um, effortless airbrush products uh, I'll have to show you some of the other eyeshadows um, that I do have from the collection I'll have to go through some of them because like uh, I have two other two other ones uh, but they're like a trio so and I did get them from QVC um, but yeah so if you would like to check into her products I will put links down below to um, where you can purchase Mally Beauty uh, like I said there's several several places um, Alta is the only one as far as I know that has the duo of the eyeshadows like that in the effortless airbrush eyeshadows um, but if there's just one particular color that you want to get, um, they do come in singles. I'm not sure if Alta has the singles also. I know on her site and um, like QVC and stuff like that do have it. So, But alright beauties, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I just wanted to, as I promised you guys, I wanted to show you some of the Mally products that I've gotten. Um, I still have the um, rose gold eyeliner that I want to work with and show you the um, look that you can get with that, which is gorgeous that rose gold is so gorgeous um i love rose gold i've come to really love ro rose gold colors very much um, and cranberry colors and so anyway thank you so much and like if you did enjoy this please give it a thumbs up um also if you're not subscribed to me please um you know do so you can click down below and subscribe and you can join me each week I put up uh, several videos within the week I don't have specific days I do apologize for that but it's just the way things work for me that I have to do them when I can do them so and as always beauties just please to remember to be yourself love yourself and just let the real beauty shine through all right so thank you so much really appreciate it and till the next time Bye, everybody. Take care.